and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deidre V. And in today's video, I have some major life updates to share with you all. So many of you may have seen the posts that I made on my Instagram and my Facebook page. And so um, today I'm here to talk about all of my life updates. I have not been on here in a while, so I'm excited to sit down with you all today and to tell you what has been going on with me. So grab you some tea, some hot chocolate, and join me for this little chit chat. Actually, let me go grab my tea. Okay, I'm back y'all. All right, so my bestie gave me this cup that says, a sister is God's way of making sure we never walk alone. Isn't that so sweet? I know. Thanks, Angelica. Let's get right into it. Um, so first big life update is that I am married. <laughs> yes, so I am a married woman now. Uh, so, actually, we got engaged on Super Bowl Sunday of this year, so February of this year, 2023, and so now we are married. We had a nice uh, courthouse ceremony, um, so I'm going to insert some pictures and videos while I'm talking through this so you all can see what has been going on, of course. You know, I have a billion pictures in my phone, so I'll share all of that. But um, yeah, we got engaged in February. I didn't announce it on social media until uh, April. Um, but yeah, that's when we got engaged. Um, it was in February of this year, and then, and we, we're married. That's all I'm gonna say is we're married. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's my big life update number one. Also, I've moved. Uh, so hubby and I live together. Uh, we both had our own homes, um, and we decided to move me into his house, which is now our house. And so, yeah, so I'm here. Uh, as a girl, you always dream of meeting your sweetheart and falling in love and getting married and all of that. And of course we talked about, um, having like a, a small, I always wanted like a small, elegant wedding, which is my close family and friends. And so we, we've still been talking about, you know, having a traditional ceremony, but we decided to go ahead and go to the courthouse and get married. And so um, that's what we did. Now my next update, is one that people have been guessing about and one that I'm so excited to share about and one that I'm gonna have, you know, a lot more videos coming up soon about probably and that is that we are expecting a baby. I know, so I have a lot to say about this. Whew. So, um, right now, I am, y'all gonna be like, what? what? Right now, <laughs> right now I am 28 weeks pregnant. And my husband and I decided to not tell anyone that we were pregnant until 20 weeks. So, that was so hard, like not telling. And when I say nobody, we didn't tell anybody. Not my mama, not my daddy, not my sister, not my brother, none of our family. We decided, you know, that we would wait for 20 weeks. And the reason we went with 20 weeks is because, well, number one, 
Um, this is a topic, you know, getting pregnant and um, it's, it's a sensitive topic, especially if, you know, you've gone through miscarriage and you just, you just don't know what people are going through. And so those early weeks, of course, can be very um, fragile. And so we, we just wanted to keep it private. And it was so hard not telling anybody. I didn't tell my best friend. We did not tell anyone. And the reason we decided to go with um, 20 weeks is because when I looked at my pregnancy app, I knew that I was not gonna show, uh, I was pretty confident that I wasn't gonna start showing until about 20 weeks. So, um, and even now, like that I'm 28 weeks and I'm in my third trimester, I'm still not show i mean i'm showing of course i'm showing right now but um at the way that i dress is very modest and so most of the time anyway so i usually wear clothes that just kind of drape down you know this dress i have right now is like pretty tight but for work and going to church and just going out and about I'm always dressed pretty modestly, you know, loose fitting clothing and all of that. And so people didn't notice, like, <laughs> I was still going to the gym with my best friend, you know, those first weeks. Um, and, you know, taking it easy, we wouldn't do anything crazy, but uh, yeah, so I knew that I was not going to show for a while. So we decided to wait to tell everybody. Um, but yeah, that was so hard because you that, that's the time during the first trimester when you're going through and the first trimester is just the first 12 weeks, but or 13 weeks, but um, we went to 20 weeks, like I said, so you're going through all of these emotions and um, it's just new and all of that, you know, I was going to my doctor's appointments and, and everything. Uh, and nobody knew. And that's the time when you are experiencing uh, extreme fatigue and just like, some people experience nausea, all that. But anyway, I'll talk about that in my first and second trimester video, which I'm putting up after this one. And so I'll go all into detail about that if you were interested in seeing that. When we finally did tell everybody, uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my family together. I think I told my sister first. And then um, I think I told my best friend after that. And then I got like on the call with all my family, all my immediate family, of course, and told them. And then later on, other families started finding out, other people, you know, I told a few other people, of course, like at work, they knew I had to tell them, you know, what's going on at work. And then some other people guessed. And everything so yeah so I got them all on a like a zoom not zoom but like a facetime call and I was just like <laughs> it was so I don't know I'm 35 years old but it's, it was still like oh my gosh you know yeah, so everybody's excited I do know the gender, but I'm not gonna tell you the gender on this video because I have a gender reveal video that we've already recorded that I'll be posting as well. Um, and my husband and I recorded that and we did like a nice gender reveal. So there are some people who do know the gender already, but I'm still gonna share that video coming up also. And there were so many close calls like with family and friends, I even like the weekend before I told uh, my family, I went to Birmingham. I spent the weekend up there and went to my sister's church and everything. And and then when I came back and I told her, she was like, oh, I knew it, I knew it. Um, but yeah. And then my mama, <laughs> honey, mamas always know. Uh, because probably like, <sighs> probably like six weeks or seven weeks along or something like that. I was at my mom's house and she looked me up and down. 
She said, your hips getting wide. I was like, oh my gosh, she knows. She knows, I'm gonna get a whooping. <laughs> and then my best friend one time we were sitting in the car and she was like, are you glowing? What you doing glowing? I was like, um, <laughs> you know. I just had to come up with something. There was so many times when I was just like, ugh. I need to tell them, you know, because the fatigue in that first trimester is so real. You just want to take a nap all day, every day. You get tired from doing everything. We went on a little baby moon recently. Um, so I'll show you some pictures of that. Uh, we went to Pensacola, to the beach. It's really nice. I really enjoyed that. We just spent some time together and enjoyed the sun and the water and just relaxed, you know. So I'm really glad that we had the opportunity to do that. Um, yeah, I think, what else do I want to share? It's just easier to keep it private, but there were so many times, like on my birthday, I was pregnant and I have an Instagram picture on my birthday and I was, I put on some gel, I was gonna take this picture with some flowers in front of me. You know, and I knew I wouldn't be able to do like a, you know, um, a snatched picture or whatever. But <laughs> I've seen a lot of um, girls take pictures with like the flowers in front, with like a pair of jeans and white top or whatever. So I think that's what I had on. And the jeans that I put on, girl, I could not even get the top. They're like button up. Couldn't even fit them. Couldn't even fit them anymore, so I had to just like have them folded down. I think I had a, like a crop top or something, but I had like these flowers that I literally got from like Dollar Tree or something like that, and just took some pictures at home, put that on my Instagram for my birthday, for my 35th birthday, which was in June. Um, yeah, so we oh, let me see, finding out. Oh, let's talk about that. <laughs> So, let me get some tea. Mm. This is actually apple cider. But, um, whew. When did I find out? Oh, and I haven't told y'all my due date. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about that now. I found out, I sound so country, found out. I found out, I believe it was, in May, yeah, I think it was in May. So I'll post a clip here of taking the test and all that. Um, and was it a surprise? Yeah, I mean, it, it's always gonna be a surprise, but was it planned, you know? All those, yeah, nosy, yeah, it's nosy. <laughs> If you know me, I'm not a spontaneous person. I'm a type A person now, but I like to plan things. I like to um, just be in control of my life, of situations. But you know, some things you, you don't have control over. But um, so yeah, it was a surprise. I'll say, I'll say yes, it was a surprise, but also no at the same time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I'm 35, okay? And I was like, anyway, I'm not gonna go into that, but I'm just excited. So, let me just see the clip. I just took this test, this little strip, the strip test right here, and there's like a faint pink line, second line, so. I'm gonna take this one. This one is the digital test, so it'll say pregnant or not pregnant. Okay, I just dipped it, put the cap back on it. And now it's processing.
So that's how that happened. Um, we found out in May. So I found out in May and immediately I called my husband that morning and I was like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, you know, cause I think I had taken a test earlier that, like that Friday or something, or like earlier in that week. And then I took another one like that after the weekend was over, like that Monday, whatever, whatever day that was. And um, it was negative that previous, uh, those previous couple of days, but of course, like they say you take it like at certain times, and I don't remember the detail, but you know. Um, but I took it, I think it was literally the last previous test that I had in the box. And so I think I had like some of those, yeah, I had some of those little cheapy um, pregnancy tests, the little strips, and then I had one. Um, I had one of the digital tests and that's the one that I found out on because I took the little chippy test first. I thought, let me just see. And that's when I saw like the two lines. The second line was like a real faint line. I was like, oh, <laughs> And then girl, when I took that digital test, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was just in shock. And then what's crazy is I watched this show that I love to watch. It's like this old show from the 90s called Doc Martin. And that in the in the episode, this episode where this lady named Maureen found out that she was pregnant. And she was an older one. I think she was like older, like she thought she was experiencing menopause, but really she was pregnant. And that's the episode that was on that morning while I was getting ready for work. The morning that I found out I was pregnant. So <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny and I didn't schedule an appointment yet because I know that um, they don't schedule you until you're like 12 no eight weeks until you're about around eight weeks um, for your first appointment so basically if you call up there you're like I don't know I'm it's like okay great you know um, what's going to be for eight weeks out? So you just, you're just waiting, you know, over to that time. You don't know, you know, because it just takes time for the, for the baby to grow. And, um, yeah, so I had to wait. Uh, I think I was eight weeks and six days or something like that for my first ultrasound. And then, um, uh, my doctor was actually out of the office at that appointment. So I had to wait till 15 weeks before I saw, saw my doctor for the first time. And it's just like, what am I supposed to be doing, you know? So yeah, went through um, those first 12 weeks, those first 15 weeks um, before I actually saw my OBGYN. But everything was fine, you know. In those early stages, you just have to, you just have to like, pray that everything is going well and it was and everything is going well so far but I'll talk more about that in the um first and second trimester update video so um we found out like I said in May yeah I do so I'm due in January of 2024 so that is coming up pretty soon I know and I'm gonna leave my registry links on this video and I put them on the post as well. If you would like to um, contribute something to our registry and with those registries, um, since they are online registries, what they'll do is you, if you um, purchase something, um, it will be sent directly to our home. Of course, you won't be able to see the address on there, but um, if you purchase it like from Amazon, it should be like directly to us. So you are welcome to view that. And if you'd like to bless us with some items from our registry, we'll be truly grateful. And I just am grateful to God for, for this because I know how precious um, and what a gift 
children are. Um, so the Bible says that children are a gift and an inheritance from the Lord. And um, I'm just, I'm excited that I get to be a mom. And um, I can't believe it. I'm like, I'm a grown up, like I'm married. <laughs> And I'm having a baby, what in the world? <laughs> anyway, let me show y'all my stomach. Mm. So, okay, here I am. There I am. Is. So this my stomach, it's my bump. Ta-da! <laughs> Again, I'm 28 weeks pregnant, which means I'm seven months. I'm in my third trimester. And the baby is due in January. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And please click the like button and the bell icon. So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video because I have a lot of new videos coming out soon. The video after this will be around the same time, I don't know, um, will be my first and second trimester update. So I can tell you all of the details about how my first and second trimester have gone now that I'm in my third trimester. And then I'll also be sharing our gender reveal video. Um, like I said before, we've already recorded that. And so um, I'll be posting that one as well. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can um, be notified each time that I upload a new video and that you can follow along with me on this amazing and beautiful journey. Hopefully I can, you know, um, share some more in this third trimester. I don't know if I'm gonna be, you know, one of those vloggers to like show um, actual birth and all that. Mm, I don't know about it, <laughs> girl. I don't know about it, but but um, yes, I'll be sharing more along the way. And thank you so much for joining me for this video. And thank you for all of your well wishes and congratulations and all that good stuff. And I ask for all of your love and your prayers um, during this time. Yes. Okay. Once again, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Toodles.